Hi, I'm Alana Siobhan. There's been a lot of hubbub in the media recently about the Republican Party's war on women. Are you having a hard time deciphering between what constitutes this war and what's just your average run-of-the-mill boring old misogyny? That's where I come in. Now, of course, there are two sides to this controversial and complicated news story. The Democrats are claiming that the GOP is waging this supposed war against women, and they accuse the Republican Party of the following. Number one, passing a law that would lower student loan rates by cutting funding from women's health providers like Planned Parenthood. Or two, making it so that contraception is no longer covered by insurance. Number three, initiating much of the internet backlash against HBO's female-centric show, Girls. Many attribute the beginning to this war against women on right-wing media man Rush Limbaugh when he called Georgetown Law student and contraception activist Sandra Fluke a slut on his radio program. This leads me into a segment I like to call Lana's Opinion Corner. Let's dish, America. So Sandra Fluke was a Georgetown Law student who was speaking in favor of mandating insurance coverage for contraception. But it remains to be seen if she is, in fact, a slut. I don't know if she sleeps around or steals other people's boyfriends, which is the inarguable definition of the word slut, but I do know this. We're missing the point, America. And the point is that Alyssa Drizos is the real mega slut, who will sleep with a guy her best friend's totally been crushing on for years and just blame it on vanilla vodka. You know, I wish that uh, Rush Limbaugh had called her a slut on national radio because no one would have been able to argue that fact. And then who knows, maybe, you know, we never would have had a war on women. And maybe both of the political parties would have been united by now and we'd have a truly United States of America for the first time in history. But we don't, and we never will. And it's because of Alyssa Drizos being a big slut, a big slutty slut. She's a big slut. Rosen's words do seem unnecessarily harsh and have ignited a veritable war against the stay-at-home mom. A rather unbalanced war seeing as most stay-at-home moms are either too drunk or too stupid to make it a fair fight. 